Hi, I'm Sabo, and today I want to show a Revit model I have created. The building is Beethoven Concert Hall, designed by Zaha Hadid. It is located in Bonn, Germany. Looking at the building, it can be noticed that it has both smooth and sharp edges. In other words, the mass consists of polylines with smooth or curved edges. So, a very essential component to create the mass is to create such a polylines. Also, we should be able to control the curvature. I created an adaptive family with 8 placement points, assuming that there is no need for more points. Then, I placed more reference points on the reference lines. And after that, I uh, created a spill line through those points. I made the normalized curve parameter of each of these points associated with an instance parameter, so I can control the curvature at the vertices. I will need polylines with different number of vertices, like, for example, sometimes 4 or 5, so I made several polylines and added an instance parameter named points to control the visibility of the placement of points and polylines. So if I load it into a conceptual mass, it is how it works. Using this parametric polyline, I drew layout of the exterior surfaces at the base and at the top and um, created those surfaces. By moving the adaptive points and changing the curvature at each point, I am able to modify the mass. The next step is to create the facade panel. By looking at the drawings and renderings, I noticed that panels have four different types. Also, I should be able to rotate each panel within the curtain system. Moreover, I should be able to make each segment of a single panel either solid or transparent. I created two adaptive families with four placement points to represent solid and transparent segments. I created each of four panels using solid and transparent adaptive families and added parameters to hide or unhide those, and therefore I am capable of making each segment solid or transparent. A major challenge was to create the ability to rotate the panels. So I created another pattern-based panel and a one-by-one -one curtain system with the initial curtain panel. Now I am able to rotate the panel using rotation parameter of the one-by-one -one curtain system. The last step is to assign the panel I have created to the surface of the mass. Another challenge I experienced was to divide the surface of the mass based on the drawings and renderings. In addition to simply dividing the surface by fixed distance or fixed number, I used the intersect tool. I drew lines and project those on the surface of the mass to create the grids. So after assigning one of the panels to the surface, I can simply select that panel and change it to another panel. Or using the parameter, I can decide which segment will be solid and which one will be transparent. This can be done on each and every one of the panels on the mass. Then I can load the mass into the project and um, we can do renderings or other details.